I have super duper oily skin. Welcome to my channel guys, I'm Mariam, or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you my foundation routine for oily skin. Yes, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I have probably some of the oiliest skin out there and it frustrates me a lot. I've developed a sort of routine that I wanna share with you guys today to help you keep your foundation lasting all day in case your skin is oily. I'm gonna be going through a number of steps. Please follow along. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you find it useful. I love Love you so much. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that notification bell. You know the drill. And let's get to this foundation routine for oily skin. Yippee! So excited for this one. This here is a product that I just discovered very recently. It's a charcoal cleansing micellar water. I like to use it to prep my skin before applying my makeup. I like that it just sloughs off any dead skin, gets rid of any excess oils, debris that may be on my skin. I like to even exfoliate my lips with it. I also pay very special attention to this area around the nose, between the brows, the forehead, the pores zones, all that. Now I've noticed there's a lot of foundation routines for oily skin here on YouTube, but none of the people actually have oily skin. Skin, or so it seems like. I feel like oily skin goes hand in hand with enlarged pores, breakouts, texture. Haven't really seen any of the people who've put out those videos cover any of the other concerns. Now that my skin is nice and smooth and kind of prepped, I moisturized also a few hours ago. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of this Murad Matte Perfect Blotting Perfector. You guys have seen this in some of my Halloween makeup tutorials. I'm gonna apply this just to the T-zone, so basically across the forehead. I also like to kind of just press it into my eyebrows. Also just here across the nose, not too much. And this product isn't heavy, it's just thin enough to mattify, but not actually add additional product. Next thing I'm gonna do is use this Derm Blend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. You've seen me use this one as well in my Halloween tutorials. And I do find that it helps grip your foundation to your skin. You only need a small amount and you really only need to put this on those areas where your foundation tends to break up. So essentially with these three steps, we've so far refined and closed up the pores, we've mattified the skin, and thirdly, we've applied the glue for your foundation to stick on. So now let's talk about foundations. If you're an oily skin type, you have to use a different type of foundation that's actually meant for oily skin. In my opinion, those are usually foundations that say something about 24 hour wear, like this Tante Doll from Lancome, which is a longtime favorite of mine. I've used this one for years and years. It is formulated for oilier skin types, it does wear a lot longer than normal foundation. Another one in the same category is this Estee Lauder Double Wear. The finish is super matte, it's very full coverage. It's a great foundation that I do recommend for those of you who have a little bit more of an oil flick. And lastly, this is a new favorite, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. If you fall into the foundation shade range that Beauty Blender has to offer, then you're in luck, because the formula on this is Excellent for oily skin. There are a few other foundations that I like. For example, L'Oreal Infallible from the drugstore. Today I wanna to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear just because I finally found my shade and I wanna put it to good use. I'm gonna take a little bit of this foundation, warm it up with my fingers. I'm just gonna stamp it and kind of paint it all over my skin. Then I'm gonna take a wet beauty blender and I'm basically going to press and roll this foundation across my skin surface. Applying foundation with a beauty blender actually helps to sheer out the foundation. So right now my skin is finally healing. Thank you, birthday skin gods. So because of that, I don't want a heavy, super full coverage layer. I just want a nice built up layer. So sheer where it needs to be sheer and full where it needs to be full. Here on the side of my face where I need a little more love, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more foundation and I'm gonna give it just a little bit more love. I don't really believe in spot treating or spot concealing. I feel like it's just very time consuming. So if you have more than five to six breakouts, just use full coverage foundation. I'm gonna move on to my concealer. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape because it is by far my favorite concealer. It's just so creamy. It doesn't crease, it doesn't cake up, it covers, it lifts, it highlights. It's just an amazing product. And then I'm gonna use the same beauty blender to blend it out and press it into the skin. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna pick up my MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime Spray. And I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. 
Very important step, one that should not be neglected if you have oily skin. I'm gonna just take that same beauty blender and gently press the spray into my skin. In some cases, it might even remove some of your makeup. So just keep rolling that beauty blender and keep on evening it out. Wow, honestly, that looks so matte that I'm feeling like I don't even need setting powder. However, wrong. I do need setting powder because this will still melt away throughout the night. If you have normal skin, then you're probably good to go at this point, but not me. I was blessed with a grease pan. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Not the luminous kind. If you wanna know how I feel about the luminous kind, just uh, watch that video up there. So I'm taking that Laura Mercier on a fluffy brush and I'm just setting my lids. I don't even use primer, I just do this technique and it works like a charm. Also going to very lightly tap underneath. And trust me, if you're using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, this little tap, tap, tap with the translucent powder is enough for that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to not crease on you. Even if you have super for oily skin. I'm gonna just reach right in there in that nostril fold. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder just to make sure there's no creases there because you know that happens with oily skin and it's so frustrating. I'm going to lightly go over my porous area with the same brush, just circular motions. I learned this trick from Wayne Goss. He is the master at that. But I'm not picking up too much product. I don't wanna make it very cakey. Sometimes with oily skin, less is more. For the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I know that's a mouthful. This is one of those powders that is a lifesaver for those of you with textured or acne skin, and of course, for those of you with oily skin as well. Kind of on the pricey side, but it's worth it and it makes a difference. So if you notice, I don't really concentrate the translucent setting powder on the uh, perimeter of my face. I use the Charlotte Tilbury for the perimeter of my face, but for the porous areas and all of those zones, I use the Laura Mercier just because I need that extra some people like to bronze up and contour with creams, but I find that's a disservice to those of us with oily skin, so I always like to use powder, unless, of course, I'm contouring my lips or my nose, which for some reason are less oily. Today, I'm gonna use Elsie Cosmetics Bronzer in shade medium. I'm gonna use this big old Morphe brush, M402. Just gonna start lightly packing on that bronzer. This is a matte bronzer too, so it doesn't have any shimmer. If you get oily throughout the night, the shimmer is only going to intensify that oil. Notice how I'm just beating the face. I'm not swiping. The swiping can actually remove your foundation, so that's why I always just like to apply little by little, building it up. Same thing on the cheeks, under the jawline, if you wish to do so. For the nose and for the lips, you've seen in my other videos, I usually like to use either my fancy beauty stick for contouring or my pixie multi bomb contour stick but today because i'm sticking to powders i'm going to use this kevin aquan sculpting powder in medium basically just a very cool tone contouring product i'm going to go very lightly just along the side of my nose i'm going to do the same thing with my mouth just contour a little bit underneath create more of a shadow under that lip a little bit on top cool same deal with the blush. I just want to use a powder blush. So I'm reaching for Motives Cosmetics Ginger Blush, another one of my faves. I love this color. So flattering. Remember to press, not swipe that product. And then for the highlighter, this is a tricky one. Today I'm going to be using Farzali Jelly Beam Highlighter, which is a popular one, especially on Instagram. You've seen this one many times. You've seen this jelly jiggle. <laughs> This is actually an amazing product. The reason why I like it is because it is so skin perfecting. And because we know that oily skin, because of its oils, it just tends to amplify any minor little imperfection. This will sort of help us balance out those imperfections. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the very top of my cheekbones. Obviously you can see this is a very pigmented, very blingy type of highlighter. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to all of my points of interest before I uh, move on. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my favorite highlighter that I'm currently loving and it's Pixie Delicate Dew. Just gonna go for a little bit of the darker one and apply it right over that Jelly Beam highlighter. Another skin perfecting trick that I learned, especially with highlighters, is to use a damp beauty blender and also kind of press it in right on top. Don't worry, it does not get rid of your highlighter, although it can if you use a dry beauty blender. So now I think I am ready to put on the rest of my face. So I will be right 
set. All right, so I've just completed my entire makeup look. If you like this look, I have a video on it. Concert makeup, get ready with me, which I will link up here. And obviously it took me some time to put this makeup look together and my foundation is still intact. I will include some footage of how my foundation is looking throughout the day so you guys can compare and contrast. I hope you find this video useful. I know I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because I think it's just such a struggle and such a problem for those of us with oily skin to really find a foundation routine that works for us. I love you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.